In this recording, we will be working with the Phone Manager application. The Phone Manager application allows you to control your phone from your computer, as well as maintain a copy of call logs and messages. The first step to using the application is logging in. Once you have selected the application to run, the login window will appear. You would simply need to type in your extension number and the IP address of your phone system. If this is not already populated, you can simply hit Browse and it will search the network for your phone system. Once this is populated, click OK. What you see here is the Phone Manager Pro application. There are several tabs that appear showing speed dials, your incoming calls, your outgoing calls, missed calls, a tab for all calls, number of messages in your personal mailbox and any hunt groups that you are a member of that you maintain the mailbox of, detailed list of voicemails, and account codes if they were being used on your system. Up here along the top, we have the phone functionality buttons. As you hover over the buttons, they will tell you what each button does. These icons correspond to buttons on your phone. So your hold button, the bright red button on your phone, has this icon on it. So it corresponds to the same button in the phone manager application. This button here allows you to make a call. If you were to select this button, you can see here where you can type in the number of the person you want to call, or you can select them from a list of all the extensions in your phone system. If we enter in a number and select call, you'll see that the phone itself goes off hook on the speakerphone and it dials this number. Now if we wanted to, we could transfer this call to another number or we could put the call on hold. If we wanted to take this call back off of hold, we can simply double click, double -click on, the, on call. the call. Now that call is back up on our speaker. We could transfer the call to somebody else. Typing in the number or selecting them from the list. Now if I hit transfer, it'll ring her phone and I can announce the call. If I hit blind transfer, it's going to transfer the call directly to her phone and I won't have a chance to announce it. That call is now gone. So again, if you wanted to place a call, or if you wanted to answer an incoming call, let's generate an incoming call. We can double click on this to answer it. Now you can see we've, how long we've had the call up. Place the call on hold. I can transfer the call, I can conference in somebody else, or I can hang up on that call. Now you'll see I have my incoming, outgoing, missed, and all calls. On the pro version, which is what we are running here, we have all of our calls broken down into th these three tabs. In the light version, we simply have the all tab. However, Based on the icons, we can tell whether it was a missed call, an incoming call, or an outgoing call, based on these little icons on the left. If we wanted to call one of these people back, we could simply double click on the number, and it places that call. You see, this is our current call status. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that call. On the speed dials tab, 
I've set up several of the local users. We can hover over the user, get a detail of their name, their extension number, how many voicemails they have. This little icon here tells me that they have new voicemails. This red X tells me that the user is busy, in this case on the phone. We see that this user is not on the phone and does not have any new voicemails. Offline means that they are not running the phone manager application. If I wanted to call one of these users, I could simply double click the user. I'm going to disconnect that call. Now if I wanted to add a new speed dial, I would right click and select add user. I could give it a name and it brings up the list from our phone system. So now I've added him as a speed dial. I also have a group. I can add tabs of groups and separate people by department. So if I right click and select new speed dial group, I can give it a name and then add users to there. Now he is in both sections, so I can go in here click that user and select delete group member. So now he is just in the executive tab and I can add users based on departments or just general speed dials. I can also add speed dials for people that aren't on the phone system. So I can select an external speed dial. Type in the appropriate information and hit OK. So by default it's going to call the cell number by selecting that tab. Now if I double click this, now obviously since this is an external number I do not have any statuses on it but I do have a visual indication of it and I am allowed to call it simply by clicking on the icon. We will disconnect that call. When I place these calls you can see by the status of the phone that it is in fact going off hook and dialing these numbers without me touching the phone itself. I can of course pick up the handset to get the calls off the speakerphone or activate a headset if I have it connected. Now, if I had new messages, you would see them appear here. You would also see more detail of the messages here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple of voicemail messages that we can monitor. So now that we have a voicemail message, you can see here but I've got this little indicator. You can also see on the screenshot of the phone itself that the red light is on. If I click on the messages tab here, I see that I've got one new message in that mailbox. If I click on the voicemail tab, it gives me a little bit more detail about the message itself. I see that it was left, the date, the time, it was only six seconds long, and it was left from John Hood's phone. If this was an external number, it would show the external number of the caller ID. I can highlight it and play it. This is a test message to use for demonstration of the phone manager application. Now, as you see from that, the phone itself went off hook and played the message. I can also highlight it and delete that message. Now, the system is going to revert back to my missed call tab to show me the calls that I have in fact missed in case I need to return them. This button here brings up the Preferences tab. The Preferences window allows us to control options on Phone Manager as well as control options for our phone. 
as you see here on the Do Not Disturb tab, I have the ability to turn off and turn on my Do Not Disturb. This will send all of my calls to voicemail. I also have the ability to add a D, uh, DND exception number. This would be a number that when matched on caller ID, bypasses the Do Not Disturb. So now, while my Do Not Disturb is on, all calls will go to voicemail, except for calls from this number. And we can remove them from the list if we change our mind on it later. The forwarding tab allows us to forward our calls to another number. If we have twinning involved, we can also control the number we twin to from here. The voicemail tab allows us to turn off and on our voicemail. This also allows us to control options while people are listening to our greeting. DTMF option zero will transfer the caller to this number. We can set this so that if they press option two while listening to our greeting, we can send the calls to an additional user or an external number. So we could state in our greeting to transfer to service, press zero. To transfer to this person, press two. Or to forward to my cell phone, press three. Otherwise, leave a message. And this is where those options are configured. The phone manager tab allows us to control options of the application itself. By selecting POP Phone Manager, if I have the application minimized and a new call comes in, it will automatically pop up on my screen and be at the front of whatever other screens I had open. Play Sounds controls whether or not we hear the ringing through the computer or alerts of new messages and missed calls through the computer itself or if we're just going to rely on the sounds from the phone. I'm going to cancel out of this now so we don't make any actual changes to the configuration as it stands. So as you can see, the Phone Manager application grants us complete control over the phone itself, allowing us to set many of its options and control all of its functionality directly from our computer. This concludes the video on the Phone Manager Pro application.